What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to go a little bit more in depth about the exclusive content coming to uh, PS4 and PS5 owners uh, for Black Ops Cold War. Now I made a video about this a few days ago kind of detailing the new items that are giving out for PS4 and PS5 owners that are going to be just exclusive to them. And after all this information came out from Sony and Activision, there was a lot of uproar between uh, Reddit and Twitter. Uh, really the community just does not like this. A lot of people feel like it's going to be an unfair advantage unless you're playing on PlayStation. And I will say I agree. I do not like exclusive content. You guys know if you've been around the channel any time whatsoever for a long time to a short amount of time. I feel like I've said it a thousand times. No matter the game, I feel like exclusive content should not exist. If you pay for the game, no matter what you play on, you should get the exact same thing that everyone else gets on any other platform if they are playing that same game. Uh, so I feel like there should be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you're going to buy a game, everyone should get the, the exact same thing because everyone is still paying for that game. There should be no exclusive content. I was really hoping that the whole idea of cross-platform, cross-gen play coming into Call of Duty, coming into a lot of other games, that would really kind of get rid of the whole exclusive content idea. Because in the past, as you guys know, back years ago uh, on Xbox, they used to get uh, the maps early when dlc maps were released you get them about a month early of course i used to play on xbox i thought that was unfair then to playstation uh owners now that i play on playstation i think that all the content the playstation owners get is a little bit unfair in my opinion uh, compared to what people get on xbox and pc and to begin with when this all started out about a month ago it was going to be that playstation 4 and playstation 5 owners were going to get the benefit of having the zombie onslaught mode exclusive to them until november the 1st 2021 this is kind of like the whole idea of the co-op mode in Modern Warfare where uh, PlayStation got the mode first and then it came out later on in, of course, the, the next year on Xbox and PC. But when it comes to zombies, I really kind of felt bad about this because there's a lot of people that love zombies no matter what platform you play on. And I thought it was kind of unfair to give a zombie mode just for PlayStation and not really allow other platforms to play it as well. And I thought it was just going to stop there, but that was not the case. Then they added in some other things. The first thing they added, of course, was the Battle uh, Pass Bundle, which, of course, is kind of like the same thing if you buy the Battle Pass Bundle for $20 on Modern Warfare. You know, you get 20 tier skips. Well, not only would you get the 20 tier skips for that $20, you would also get an additional 5 tier skips for being a PS4 or PS5 owner. So that would be a total of 25 tier skips. When I saw that, I was like, well, that's not too bad. You know, if they would have left it with that, kind of with just that Battle Pass bundle bonus and the Zombie Onslaught mode. I still would not have liked the exclusive content that they were giving PlayStation, but I would not have felt as bad about it as some of the other things that they added in. That Battle Pass bundle, if you're going to buy it, no matter what platform you're going to be on, you're going to go ahead and get those 20, uh, you know, tier skips. But that extra five is not really that big of a deal, in my opinion. But when it comes to the other three things they're giving out, I think that it, it is a big deal, and I think it is going to give playstation players an advantage first thing of course is the party bonus playstation players that play together in parties receive a 25 percent bonus to weapon xp now we all know how long it takes to rank weapons up in call of duty uh if you look at the beta the time to level up a weapon to unlock all the attachments was very very slow now they did say that that was going to change that was not going to be the same of course once the game is released i'm not sure exactly what the xp to unlock all the attachments is going to be how much it's going to take Let's just go for an example here. Let's say it takes just as long as it did in Modern Warfare to unlock all the attachments for one weapon. If you're getting a 25% bonus just for playing, you know, on PlayStation with, you know, in a party with friends, I feel like that is going to be a bit of a disadvantage for other platforms. Because to a point, if you play a lot and you're grinding the game a lot, you're eventually going to be able to unlock a lot of stuff before someone else will that does not get to play as much. So I, I feel like that is going to be a bit of a disadvantage. And even if you're grinding really hard playing the game all the time and people are doing that on xbox and pc as well that 25 percent bonus is still going to get you to unlock closer to unlocking that stuff a lot sooner than they're going to get to unlocking it so i feel like that is a big disadvantage uh, also the next thing of course is the double xp bonuses they're going to give monthly double xp events which are only going to be 24 hour durations but those are going to be also on ps4 and ps5 only so between a double xp event and that extra 25 percent bonus for weapon attachments i feel like PlayStation players are definitely going to get a big advantage when it comes to ranking up their weapons or, you know, kind of grinding out their levels, grinding out the new prestige system. Everyone that plays Call of Duty, no matter what platform you're on, always looks forward to those triple XP weekends, those double XP weekends, those, uh, you know, weapon XP weekends. 
and just for owning a PS4 or playing on PS5 or PS4, you're going to have the advantage of having, you know, double our, our chance to get 25% weapon XP and also monthly double XP events. Not including the other events that are going to go on for everyone in the game automatically. So anyone on PS4 or PS5 will have an advantage when it comes to XP gain, which I think is a real bummer in my opinion. I just do not think that is fair whatsoever. And last but not least, they said anyone on PS4 or PS5 will get two extra uh, creative class slots. Those will be available when a creative class unlocks uh, at level 4 in Black Ops Cold War. Now we all know when it comes down to most Call of Duty games, everybody always wants more creative class slots. There have been past Call of Duty titles, including Treyarch titles, that have uh, sold packs of creative class slots for like 2 to $5. And they sold like crazy. I used to always buy them. Because you always want more creative class slots. There's always something that you want to mess around with. You don't want to necessarily delete some of your other classes. You always want more slots so you can just kind of, you know, experiment with new classes. Uh, try out new things. Without having, like I said, to lose some of the classes that you already have made. And giving two extra slots to PlayStation, no, it does not sound like that big of a deal. And a lot of people may not think it is as big of a deal as the whole XP situation on PlayStation. But I feel like it is kind of a big deal just because they should have known, have known that everyone always wants more credit class slots. So it was just kind of like a slap in the face, in my opinion, to all the other people that are playing that aren't on Xbox, of course, and on PC. So just overall, I feel like the whole system that they're going are going with here for the exclusive content this year is a bit much. I wish that it was not in the game whatsoever. I don't know if I'm, we're ever going to see another game in history that does not have exclusive content that is a big AAA title like Call of Duty or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to go on. I'm not sure if they're always going to continue this uh, this kind of idea of having this exclusive content. I really, like I said at the beginning, I really wish all companies would get rid of this and everyone that played the game would get the exact same thing. But leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Are you happy with this? If you're buying a PlayStation 5 or if you own a PS4, are you glad that you know, you're getting this and no one else is? Or do you kind of feel like I do and a lot of the community does, that it is just a bit unfair for some people to get an advantage just because they play on a particular platform? Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, they are the affiliate here on the channel. Of course, the community Discord is linked down in the description along with my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.